Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Liverpool Career Mode here on FIFA 19. Right, well this is October, this is what we're getting through in today's episode. What two games are we going to be seeing? Well, I mean, you're going to be seeing them all, but you know what I mean. The two games that I'm going to be um, commentating on, um, where the rest of them are going to be. So, highlights are going to be Southampton and then Burnley, guys, and then I'll be back for the Villarreal game. Okay, take it easy, we'll be back in a mo. <laughs> Right, well, here are the two lineups for the Villarreal game. We've had two great games there against Southampton and um, Burnley. Burnley, what a strike from Arteta that was, but they were a tough side, as you can see from the stats at the end of it. Like, you know what I mean? Um, I think the scoreline kind of um, flattered the um, the actual game in the end. I mean, it was a lot closer, but um, yeah, um, that's those two games out of the way. And here we are in um, Champions League. And as you can see, um, they've got Di Maria, they've got Welbeck. Um, yeah, looking, looking, uh, not a too bad a side, are they really? To be honest, Pavlenka in goal looks a decent, um, decent keeper. Um, Moreno up front, um, four nails. Yeah, um, these probably going to give us um, a tough time, like sort of thing. So, um, let's get on with it. So, know all about playing in Spain with the, obviously the Malaga career mode that's going on on the channel. Um, so we've come up against Villarreal with Malaga in the, you know, so we know all about that. Um, but this could be a different proposition with it being the Champions League and the way that the game like ups the like sort of standard of the teams that you're up against and stuff when you're playing them. So it's not going to necessarily be a walk in the park, even though the first two games have been. Um, we've just got to make sure that we keep focused and get three points. Being hounded, and use Trent. It's done well. He whipped this in. Great chance. Oh, that's super, super. Great ball in from Trent. Great finish from Dembele. Playing him in the cam roll in this game, you probably noticed that from the team lineups. But yeah, I just thought of playing there, just with the fact that uh, this going, Asensio playing in the Burnley game and just a little bit tired. But like I say, it was a tough game. The Burnley one. Yeah, nice keepers just still doing nothing. 
Trent. Um, give us some options here. Okay, there's now giving them his options. Kante. Just link this into Dembele. Gets a turn. Oh, yes. He's on fire in this match right now. You can just see he's like... He's, he's fired up for it. He just he's buzzing about a lot. Then ballets. He's in the right places and he's got his second. Think into the box. Not able to get it. Dima has done it, but Salas put that out. Hey Zeus now. Here is Dembele. There goes Vinicius. Are they going to catch him? That's the question. They are. I thought that was in. Wow. I was going to say they are not, because um, I thought this was top corner and he's put it wide. Here is Keita. Jesus into Salah. Can he find Dembele for his hat trick? He can. Oh. I said he's up for it. Well, 30 minutes, not yet gone. I thought he was going to head it, but he just decided, no, I'm just going to smack it in with my left. Even though that keeper's rated, what was he, 82, 85, something like that. He's not performing like one, is he? So, match ball will be... Go into Usman. Oh, and Kate is in. And get Jesus through. Can. Just knocks it back. Kate. Oh, this is just going to be too easy now. It's just too easy. We are just running Villarreal ragged right now. They might look good on paper, but they're not performing like it on the pitch. I tell you, it's just, they're just all over the place. I think our, our pace is catching them out. Our quick passing. Just great volley there from, from Keita. Could have took it down, but decided, no, I'm going to take on the volley and the keeper just nowhere near it. 4-0. Just over the half hour mark and this game is, is done. At the moment, we just can't stop scoring, can we? We're just flying at the moment. With this, with this squad, it's just, yeah. I, I, I thought... It was going to be, an, you know, one of these seasons where you bring in all these like quality players. You know, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to, you know, turn out that way. But didn't think it'd turn out as good as what it is so far. Right, second half. Will Villarreal have got a speaking to and try and salvage some kind of? They're not going to get the game, but they might salvage some some bit of pride. I don't know. Jesus Dembele, spectacular. Clearance. Keita out to Salah. Picked someone out. Tries to get Jesus, but heavily marked. Trent now looking to whip this in, and Vinicius is in. There it is, number five. Well, we got five against Napoli, and now we've got five against Villarreal. And like I said, I think this group is definitely ours. Or was that in there? No, I think that was in the Malaga video, thinking about it. No. Yeah, we're doing well in Europa League in, with Malaga, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I might have said that in that one. But, uh, yeah, this group's ours is in both. <laughs> Malaga and uh, Liverpool save, so, yeah. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. Gerard's in. Alisson didn't claim it. It's still in. It's knocked it back, and... Uh, uh, Matt Hummel's... Throwing himself in front of that. Allison should have claimed that. Um, put us in all sorts of problems there. But the, the sort of toes of Hummels there. Well, a bit disappointed with Villarreal. I mean, it's great that they've like, not done anything, but they were a bit poor, to be honest. And yeah, could have maybe been a few more. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, but yeah, great performance from this man here. He had a great game. Nice to see that number seven on his sleeve. One day it will read seven in real life. But there you go. Yeah. Um, 
out of the eight on target, five of them hit the back of the net. Um, like I say, Villarreal didn't really trouble us at all. Usman um, is going to pick up another match easily. Uh, Keita and Kante uh, just got a great partnership, and obviously the Keita Salah partnership is, is a good one this season as well. That seems to be working well. Right, so it'll be another little highlights um, with the West Brom, um, and then we'll be back with the Carabao Cup against Leicester. That's what will be happening. We're five points clear at the top of the Premier League with nine out of nine. Hopefully if we can beat West Brom, we'll have gone the first ten games with ten wins, which, yeah. And look at how many goals we've scored in comparison to everyone else around us. Um, yeah, this team is just unbelievable at the moment. I was going to say this squad is unbelievable at the moment, like... Um, yeah, and just a quick look at the Champions League group, which obviously will speak for itself. Again, we're just dominating in that one with 13 goals in there, like um, after three games and three wins. Napoli do sit in second, and we imagine that they will definitely be going through with us. Um, unless Villarreal can book their ideas up, but they were really poor um, against us. Um, so, yeah, we've got Villarreal again um, at Anfield, so. They could be in for another <laughs> another battering, couldn't they? So, but anyway, let's go do a highlights of um, West Brom now. Okay, so I'm back, yeah. Um, tough tough one against West Brom. They decided, I think, with their formation and just the way that they were set up and, 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 and stuff, they were going for obviously a nil-nil, trying and like, just sit behind it, but we managed to, to to get it in the end with a couple of um, Bobby goals. Like, yeah, pretty good ones. Um, so we've gone 10 out of 10 um, in the Premier League, and now we are in the Carabao Cup. So I've slightly changed the, the formation um for the Carabao Cup, it was like different. This one is more. It's kind of like like a hard Liverpool uh, set up, um, I suppose, in real life. Um, to be honest, um, so this is how uh, um, I've gone with it. Um, but it is like a, a slightly stronger side than what has been playing in the Carabao Cup because, as you can see, Leicester um, are going all out for this, like with um, some strong um, signings and stuff. With obviously, I mean, we've, they've got Shakiri from us. Um, they've got Ben Yedder up front, Lamella. We've got in Dias. We've got we've said we spoke about these two before. Then we know that Matuidi's there as well. Um, Pereira's in there, like Danilo Pereira. Um, yeah, it's 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 looking a good good side, and obviously Schmeichel's going to be a tough one to get past. So um, yeah, um, hopefully we can do that, and um, because we want to be able to win every um, cup this season um, in our final season, that's what the ultimate game is. Um, you know, or pardon the pun on the ultimate bit, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah. Anyway. Crack on, see how we get on um, at the King Power. Here's Kante, obviously ex Leicester for Chelsea. Here's Salah now. Can he get someone in here? It's nicely done. Oh, that's superb. Oh, and it's Oxley Chamberlain. Yes. Diving header. Great play from Salah to just, he was twisting and turning to try and find the space. And Oxlade-Chamberlain doesn't obviously gonna—he's never gonna get that much of a run out, but 
Um, I decided to give him a, give him a go and, and look at this. Wow, that was, he could have had his head took off the way that, I think it was, a, was it a Marty that was swinging there at him possibly? Oof. Nearly took the top of his head off there, I think. But yeah, Schmeichel wasn't expecting that and we're 1 0 up. Here's Madison. I'm going to get back into this fairly soon. Ben Yedder goes to try and spin that. Hummel's got something on it. It's going to fall nicely. Hernandez, though, but offside. Wow, that was a bit of a hearts in your mouth sort of situation there. It was just where Ben Yedder flicked it up, and Hummel's just managed to get a block on it, but then they tried to play another ball through, and I think it was Madison then was offside. Into Naby Keita, looking for Salah to get onside. Clips it across. <sighs> Nearly gets Oxley Chamberlain again. Jesus has pulled it down. Ah, oh, stuck a deflection. Um, it's number two. Not entirely sure who it's come off. So many bodies in front of him. Managed to get a shot away and it's took a wicked deflection and just you can see from here and I'm not sure who it is that's is it took it off. Not going to see from here either. Is it Matweedy? It's come off his, his standing foot. It might have been Matweedy. I don't know. But two 0 Yeah. Yeah, I think it was. Look at the shirt number thirty-five. Yeah, it was Matweedy. It came off. All right, Kante's done well there to win that. Can Danilo's took it off Kato. Kante's going to try and get this off Madison, but Madison's done well. That's a hell of a strike. Wow. Julian Shakiri just lashes this one. But for us, fortunately, Allison has got a strong hand. Go forward, find Jesus maybe. Can he get in behind? Dyer was a bit slow there. Jesus has got in. And oh, and that's superb. And there'll be a lot of Leicester fans pointing the fingers at Eric Dyer there. He was so slow. He thought he had all the time in the world. And Jesus just nips in around the back of him here, takes it off him, finds a good position, pulls back onto his right, and curls it into that bottom corner. And I'm sure that Schmeichel will be giving Dyer an earful right now. Oxley Chamberlain's getting quite a lot of the ball, to be honest. He's. Um, Obviously making, you know, the opportunity, he's going for it. Not like the Liverpool players in the FA Cup game in real life. They didn't make any, I mean, the likes of Origi and, I mean, yeah, Origi score, but Daniel Sturridge didn't want to be there. Shakiri didn't want to be there until Salah and Firmino came on. It was, um, everyone's having a go at the youngsters, but I'm sorry, the youngsters played well. It was all the um, so-called senior players that were very, very poor, like Mourinho, you know, just storage was poor. But anyway, Salah now. Chance. Oh, oh offside. Okay. Whipped in. Nicely done. Oxley Chamberlain deserves more of the match. He's had an outstanding game. And there it is. Through to the next round. Is it the quarters we're through to now? Or was that the quarters? And I should have checked to be honest. Shakiri shaking his head. Yeah. Kate consoles him, ex teammates. It's nice to see. But yeah. Oh, the six, oh that was a, I didn't realise Jesus has scored two twice. I bet he's probably fuming I took him off. But it's not to worry. And he was close, I mean, to be honest, I mean they had more shots. We had more on target. We had the possession, but it was close, even though the scoreline doesn't kind of reflect that. It's a tight game. And Oxley Chamberlain does get man of the match, so well done, because I thought he deserved it. He played really well. He did play well in that game. Well, that will um, be putting us through to, I think it's the quarters next. So, Wolves beat Swansea, Spurs thrashed Shrewsbury. Spurs thrashed Shrewsbury. <laughs> Um, yeah, Arsenal um, beat Millwall, uh, Reading beat West Brom, Watford beat Huddersfield, um, Burton and Brighton are still yet to play. I wonder if Brighton can put nine past Burton. <laughs> um, QPR um, and Crystal Palace are also yet to play. 
So apart from maybe Spurs, we probably look like the strongest um, in that sort of like draw. But yeah, we've got Forest to have a little highlight of. Um, I will then drop back in just to say thanks guys for watching and stuff. But yeah, so we'll just do like little highlights of the Nottingham Forest because I think it's top versus bottom. It is. Yeah, they're yet to win. Same with Leicester, same with West Brom. I mean, Leicester we just played, but only in the cup. But yeah, they're not doing very well at all. Um, but yeah, it just goes to show, doesn't it, that they need to find um, their scoring boots because they've only scored five in the league right now. So that's what is their problem at the moment at Leicester City. Yeah, but like I say, we're against Forest now. And then I'll be back in just a mo after the Forest game. So that's what's coming up. Well, that was tougher than what I expected, but then again, Nottingham Forest would like that when we played him in the cup, weren't they? I don't know, it was just so, it was just so tough to um, to break that. I mean, I, I can't understand how that team is bottom if they play like that, and that's what is wrong with this game, is that that team won't play like that against the other teams, if that makes sense. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, um, yeah, I just, <laughs> I was surprised. I mean, I thought we were going to find it difficult to get in, in, in but it was a tough one. But yeah, um, we pulled it out in the end. <laughs> it was just yeah, bizarre one, really bizarre. That's one of the toughest games that um, I've played. Like you know, and the same was when we played them. You know, in in the late Carabao Cup and stuff, and that was only a two-one. Crazy right now. Um, it's great to see Liverpool doing this, but it's just totally unrealistic. It just wouldn't happen. Um, maybe with all these players, would it? I don't know, but I just I don't think it would. You know what I mean? So I want to try and bring it back to a bit of normality, a bit of reality. You know, instead of it being. I mean, I know it is a computer game and stuff. I mean, it doesn't make sense that Crystal Palace are in second place. Um, that's just crazy that they've only lost one. Man City have only lost one. Um, Spurs have only lost one, um, as you can see as well. But 
Manchester United are starting to climb up now. Yeah, they're up to 11th. Um, but as you can see, the big boys are all starting to converge. Brighton and Crystal Palace are maybe just sort of will start to drift away and start to fall away from from being at the top there. But I just, it's the goals, the amount of goals I've scored compared to anyone else near us. It's, that's what's like so crazy about the whole situation. Premier League. There's Bobby. 11 goals in 11 games. Mo Salah in second. Eight goals in six games. Um, yeah, looking good. Mo, I'm mean, very impressed with. I wanted um, it not all to be Bobby, and uh, at least Mo is, is chipping in. Where's our next? Next is Dembele down there with four um, at, in 16th. So, yeah, looking good. Um, but uh, you guys have a good weekend, and I will catch you on Monday for November's episode. Which let's have a quick look at November, shall we? What we got coming in? We have Villarreal. We got Palace. Oh, that's oh okay. Well, that. Mm. Spurs are in there as well, uh, but Palace are in second. I th ooh. No, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Palace. Yeah, um, Spurs is gonna be a highlight one. Um, yeah, just because with where Palace are, I mean, it normally it would have been Spurs and I don't know who else. Probably Villarreal, maybe. But no. Um, yeah. November's going to be the first two games, and then the other three will be the highlights. That's what that's what I'll do. Um, yeah, but that's what you've got coming up on Monday, guys. So you take it easy, and I'd like I say, have a good weekend. Um, hopefully Liverpool can bounce back from the awful display against Wolves, against Brighton. Um, but it'll be interesting to see which defenders we're actually going to be putting out probably find Fabinho is going to be playing um, centre back again I um, don't know why we don't buy another centre half I just don't know why we don't do it um, but I know Klopp won't do it but anyway take it easy nice thumbs up will be appreciated you'll catch you next time guys it's Dave from Me Gaming signing off cheers